Has this ever happened to you? <sighs> we're lost. So we're definitely gonna die? Yeah. Don't let this happen to you. Hey everyone, my name is Morgan and today I'm going to show you a review of a radio from Midland. I think you'll be impressed and I think this might be a fantastic communication option for you for every day and for your preps. Let's take a look. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the radio. This is the wonderful box that it comes in. In fact, um, everything is really self-explanatory right on the box, which is pretty nice. Now this is a GMRS, it's a two-way radio, okay? So it can uh, connect to uh, another one of these or like a handheld device, um, you know, something like that. So, you know, it's, it's a two-way radio. So. Um, it, it has 15 channels, eight repeater channels, and 10 weather channels, plus a USB charger. That's pretty nice. Um, you know, I'll show you everything here in just a minute, but um, in saying that this is GMRS, that means that you do need a license to operate this. Um, you don't have to take a test, unlike, um, you know, with ham, you need to take a test, but with GMRS, you do need a license, but you just pay some money and then you get your license and that's it. There are some limitations with GMRS, but uh, otherwise it is a good communication option. So, all right, so the back is uh, pretty, uh, really, really actually, <laughs> you could figure this whole thing out just by looking at the back, which is nice. I'm gonna take it out here in just a second. But um, it, it tells you everything that it comes with it, um, you know, what everything is. It's a very simple, straightforward radio, which is what I really like about it. Um, you know, there's nothing really confusing. If you've never seen a radio in your life, you're definitely going to look at this and be like, oh, okay, microphone, USB charger, there it is. Hey, uh, there's the monitor and scan, got it. Here's the call lock, here's the LCD display, boom, right there, right? Um, here is the weather. So what's really nice about this uh, radio is that it has a radio, uh, has a weather, NOAA weather radio button right there. So all you had to do is press it. You don't have to like go searching for the channels or anything like that. It's just bam right there. You got access to it, which is really nice. And then uh, a menu button there. So we're going to show all that more in detail, but again, let's go ahead and uh, open it up. So when you open this up, it has a little uh, additional kind of little pamphlet inside here. It's nothing special. Uh, just kind of little additional information. All right, when you pull it out, it comes in this nice protective case. Everything's nice and organized. Looks pretty straightforward. So you're just gonna go ahead and open it up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out. So it does come with a little quick start guide, a little instruction manual. Again, these are pretty straightforward radios. So, you know, as long as, you know, if you ever get tripped up or anything, you don't know what anything is, just come on in here and it tells you all about the microphone controls. I mean, it tells you everything about the radio just to get you started, you know, locking the keypad, you know, why would you want to do that? All these kinds of things. So, you know, we'll go into more detail, you know, when we are uh, really, uh, looking at it and using it and that kind of stuff. But uh, what this actually comes with is the microphone. Okay. It comes with uh, the charger for the radio. This will charge into your, this will plug into the radio and then this plugs into your car to get power to it. It comes with an antenna. Um, now, now we'll show you how this sets up. This is, uh, you would put this somewhere in your vehicle to attach the microphone and we'll show you how to do that. And then of course it comes with the radio. This is what it looks like. Looks really good. That's just a sticker on there. It's not actually on yet. <laughs> they like to, to show that it, it can work. So there you go, take that off. All right, so as you can see, just like um, we saw on the box, it has all the buttons and the USB and the, this is where you're gonna plug in. Uh, this is for the antenna and uh, it's really straightforward. Actually, one thing that I really like that, about this that I wanna show real quick is that this just slides on and off. What's nice about this bracket is that some brackets you have to screw the radio into the bracket and you don't have to do that with this, which is, really convenient. I don't know if you ever want to take like the the uh, radio down for any reason, you know, you could just pop the radio off, 
you know, and the bracket will stay wherever it's going to stay, and then the radio can just pop off, which is super nice. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I we've had some radios, and this is definitely um, a nice feature that it just can pop off like that. All right, let's go ahead and get this radio connected into the Jeep. And uh, we have another radio that we are going to be connecting to and just uh, seeing about the distance and, and all that goodness. We're gonna show you exactly how this works. Okay, when it comes to mounting it in your vehicle, there's a couple things you could do. Um, first of all, this is the actual um, mount that comes with it, okay? This is attached to our vehicle and this is what we bought for our uh, mobile communication purposes. Now, this is the actual bracket that it comes with. So what we did is we actually just got a screw and we just opened up this hole a little bit and so we could mount it to ours. Now, there are three screws that come with uh, this device. So if you wanted to take this bracket and like screw it into your dashboard, that's what these screws would be for. So you just screw it in right there, or wherever, um, and then that would be up to you. Of course, you could always just place it, you know, somewhere on your dash somewhere, as long as it's not, you know, uh, in danger of flying out the window or anything. But, you know, you do really want to try to secure your comms the very best that you can, especially in a mobile situation, you know, with so much moving about. So, you know, if you can secure it, something like this, that's, that's definitely preferred. All right, so let's go ahead and hook up the antenna. This is the little antenna that came with it. I'm gonna show you here. Now you can wire this into your vehicle however your heart desires. Um, what's really nice about this, this particular antenna that it comes with is that it comes with a really long cable. Here is the antenna, just to show it to you. Um, before I show you the cable, I do wanna say that when you are mounting your antenna, whether permanently or temporarily, for our purposes, we're gonna be using it temporarily for now. So, uh, but whenever you do want to use your antenna, it should always go on the outside of your vehicle. Never have it on the inside like this or anything like that. You always want it on the outside of your vehicle. If the top of your vehicle just isn't enough, then you can, you know, take it out. Whee! What's really nice, it has a really, really long, long, long cable. So this is for wiring as well as if you want to, you know, take it out. But look how long this cable is. Some uh, radios come with such short cables, but this antenna really comes with a nice long cable. So as you can see, that's, that's super long. It's really great. This is the microphone that came with it. There's the plug. Just plugs right into the front there, nice and easy. It does have a USB uh, cover for the USB when you're not using it, which is actually really convenient because, you know, if you could cover those up and keep those as pristine as possible, that's always recommended. Okay, so here is the microphone mount that it comes with. So we're just gonna slide it on there just for demonstration purposes. There you go. So it does come with a little sticky. You can just stick it to your dashboard wherever. Stick it, stick it, okay to get on your arm. Okay, so um, now this also will work on really any standard microphone mount. As you can see, we have that here and it'll just stick right on there. There you go. So you can use the one that it came with or you can buy um, an additional mount uh, for your vehicle that you would screw into your vehicle, you know, just depends on how hardcore you want to be with your <laughs> with your communication. Um, but uh, yeah, then it ours is the last thing we need is power. Okay, so the power comes directly from the back, comes down. Now this is a quick disconnect uh, you, to be able to wire it in your vehicle however you want. You know, you can disconnect it, wrap it around things. You know, yeah, whatever you want to do. So um, then it comes on down. Now these are um, these are the fuses here. Okay, so then it comes down here. Now this is a cigarette lighter charger. So you just plug it right into your cigarette lighter and uh, that's how you get power. Super simple. Now, if you wanted to get complicated with it um, or you know, you know how to do this. Now I do wanna warn, I would really suggest that you know how to do this. Don't just willy nilly go about doing this, okay? Uh, make sure that you understand the ramifications of doing this and all that, okay? You can cut it and permanently wire it into your vehicle, okay? Again, I wanna caution you, make sure you know what you're doing by, by cutting it and permanently wiring it into your vehicle. Otherwise, it just plugs into the cigarette lighter, so uh, makes it a really convenient 
mobile communication option. All right, so we got the we got the Jeep on and we got it going. There it is, there's the display. Now you can actually change the display color, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, so first thing we wanna look at is the menu button. There's a lot of menu options here, so we're gonna just kinda go through them. Now, if you're ever lost, you can go to the quick start guide here. Uh, it shows you everything that's in the menu. So um, yeah, it, it tells you exactly what it is and how to do it. So we're gonna show you how to do it as well. So in order to activate the menu, you just press this little button. Boop. Okay, now you're going to use your microphone to go up and down to move be through the menu. Now, if you come to a piece of the menu, like, ah, that's uh, BP. I can't see through the... <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's BP, right? Silent operation. That would be silent operation. Okay, so now if there are any options in here, you're gonna press this button and then it's on, off, on, off. See, you're just using that to switch, you're doing that and then to get out of it, once you choose your option, you just press it again. So now you'll notice that it doesn't beep. So we actually just turned the beep off, which I like no beep, but that's just me. One that you'll probably really want to get to know is the squelch sensitivity. Go ahead and go into here. Squelch seventh sensitivity, SQ. Okay, I'm gonna press that to get into it. Squelch sensitivity. Now, this is where you're gonna be adjusting. Let's say you can't hear somebody real well. Um, you would kind of go into this menu and adjust your squelch in there. All right, let's go ahead and change the color background for funsies. There you go. Aha, green, red, green, <laughs> no color, blue, purple. Isn't that fun? So yeah, it's just something fun. You can change that for different, you know, whatever you want. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get into the NOAA weather radio. I'm gonna show you that real quick. It's good to know. This is the NOAA weather radio button. You just press it. And now it's gonna scan itself. But if you wanna scan, you can press the scan button. Okay, so something about GMRS is that there are certain channels already programmed, okay? You do not have to do any programming yourself, okay? They already come programmed. Okay, you must be licensed prior to operating on channels 1 through 7, 15 through 22, and repeater channels 15 through 22. Okay, so these have the 22 pre-programmed in here. So you can um, just scan using uh, the microphone here, uh, or you can scan using this button here. And it'll just scan until it starts hearing someone. You could just let the scan go until you, somebody pops up and you're like, hey, I wanna talk to you, right? Uh, you can always stop it. Now, uh, if you ever wanna call out, let's say you're on a channel and you wanna call out, you would press this button. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to call out to anyone. Um, but this will basically give this uh, ring, kind of like a ringtone of a boo, and then it'll ring out and uh, you just stay on the channel and you wait for somebody to hear you. If you haven't heard anything after a while, you just go to another channel, call out again, and continue to do that until you hear somebody. I would wait a good several minutes, if not more, to hear somebody. But usually, you know, if somebody doesn't hear it right away, they, you know, won't be responding because they just didn't hear it. Uh, so unless somebody's on it to hear it, you know, you just continue on. You know, this is especially important if you're searching for help, you would definitely uh, try to call out. And if you want to uh, chat or do anything, you know, that's again, you would, that's how you would call out. Okay, so something that you'll notice here, right there, is L and H. L is low power. H is high power. There are certain channels like one through seven will have low power. And then the other channels 15 through 22 will have the high power. The high power is the highest power that will go the 15 watts. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out. Now, uh, we're gonna go to the end of our, uh, well, we're gonna be going to uh, 
the main road, which is about two and a half miles away. But um, we're gonna, we can have a direct line of sight once he gets down to that main road. Now, there's so many factors here about communication. No matter what communication device that you have, a direct line of sight is obviously gonna give you the best uh, communication option, right? Um, now, you know, I mean, there's lots of factors of things that can get into the way, buildings, trees, mountains. There's lots of obstructions that can uh, skew um, how well your communication devices perform. Now, the higher your antenna can get, the better. Your antenna is really kind of where it's at, okay? Um, the higher you can get your antenna, the better. Well, <laughs> that's, uh, that's what it sounds like to call somebody. It was that ringing. I don't know if you heard that, but uh, yeah, it was that ringing. Uh, so we can hear each other. I apologize. We're going to have to hop up to the garbage collection because it's already pushing almost 11. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Anyway, so what I was saying is you want to get your antenna as high as possible. Uh, there are lots of antennas that you can like throw over a tree and stuff like that. You know, again, just things, just an antenna that can get as high as possible um, is, is going to be your best bet. <laughs> my daughter. Hi, Kid Rogue. Hi. You can hear each other pretty good, and he's on the. Oh, good. You having fun? She loves radios. <laughs> She's learning how to use the radios. Kids just love radios. But uh, anyway, um, so um, now this is the same radio that's in the Jeep. Now, real quickly, um, I do want to say that because it, this particular radio is really made for mobile purposes, but this uh, uses a cigarette. Uh, now, if you don't have a cigarette plug in your house, which most houses don't, right? Uh, what you would do is you would just cut it and attach it to a 12 volt power supply. And then this power supply actually just plugs into the wall. So that's how you would uh, use this for at home purposes. Again, please know what you're doing before cutting this and you know attaching it anywhere. Uh, be just, you know, be careful before you, you know, <laughs> basically essential destroy uh, your products. But um, yeah, that's definitely one way to do it. But this really is more made for kind of mobile purposes, but this will transmit to uh, handheld radios. Uh, I'm almost there. I'm on the line for a final stretch. Okay, so about how many miles away are you? So at 2.4 miles, he's away right now. There's a little bit of static, but that's very common with CB and GMRS and things like that. Ham is really the only one that you get like real clear signal, but you know, I can still hear him. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can still hear you pretty good. There's a little static, but it's not too bad. Oh, there you go. You just suddenly got really crystal clear. How about now? How does it sound? Sounds fantastic. He is crystal clear. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm parked right in front of the mailboxes right now. Okay, so at 2.4 miles, and we do have a pretty direct line of sight. In fact, if I looked out, I could probably see him down there, our, our bright orange Jeep, right? You know, so direct line of sight uh, is definitely sounding really, really good. So we're about two miles away right now, and I am transmitting, and I hear everything coming back loud and clear. Sounds crystal clear on this end. Sounds good. This radio has really exceeded my expectations. Midland in general is a really great brand. They really have high quality radios. Um, and now this GMRS radio is, is really high quality. Um, it looks durable. It's super easy to use. Anybody pulling this straight out of the box who knows nothing about radios will be able to look at these simple pictures and instructions that Midland provided and be like, I got it, I got it. The type of antennas that come with this seem to be doing a pretty good job. Again, as long as the antennas are pretty high. Right now, this antenna is actually on top of the roof. Um, 
And then the antenna for the Jeep was also on top of the roof, as top as you can get it. Any interference with the antenna will make a difference, okay? Uh, we have a roof rack and we put the antenna inside and it made a difference. We put the antenna on the outside of the roof rack and it made it crystal clear. So any little in interference with those antennas will make a huge difference. Now you can buy um, separate antennas, you know, uh, better, you know, better, uh, you know, bigger antennas, um, antennas that might get you further reach um, as an accessory to this and really most other communication devices. So, you know, even the handheld radios, you can get um, uh, better uh, antennas. As far as these radios go, I, I'm really impressed with them. They're very easy to use. You know, we pulled them straight out of the box, first time using them with this video. So as you can tell, everything has, has worked perfectly fine. Um, no failures or anything. So I would highly recommend these radios. If you're interested in GMRS, remember that you do need a license. So look into your local state uh, license um, requirements for that and get the license that you need for GMRS. But otherwise, I'm very impressed with this and I highly, highly recommend this. We're going to put a link down below to where you can go check this out and uh, come find us. All links down below in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.